We're here interviewing people on St. Mark's. I'm here with... Thank you. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun Bros on the Street. Now we ask a lot of questions, but today we are asking the good people of St. Mark's, New York about food. Specifically, Asian food. What's their favorite Asian food? What's the weirdest Asian food they've ever eaten? And is it important to eat traditional Asian foods? Let's find out what people said. What type of Asian are you? Korean. Chinese. Chinese. What type of Asian are you? Um, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that part of Asian. First of all, make some noise if you're from Brooklyn Tech. Hey, yo, let's, go, let's go, Brooklyn Tech! Who's from Bronx Science? <laughs> Who's more gangster? Brooklyn I'm Tech! Tech. Brooklyn Tech! Brooklyn Tech. Brooklyn Tech. Brooklyn Tech. I think the answer is they're all good kids. Do you consider yourself a foodie? Hell yeah. Yeah. I love me some food. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. It's hard to like think of people not being into food. What's your favorite Asian food? Be it Chinese, obviously. Thai, Japanese, I guess Chinese, but Chinese American. Probably Japanese, and I really like ramen. Dumplings are really good. I would just say sushi. Kimchi is lit. <laughs> durian is popping. Don't be afraid. Get that durian. What is the weirdest Asian food that you have ever tried? Snails. I, yeah. Did you like it? No, not at all. I don't, I'm not a muscle person though. Wait, you're not a muscle person? What do you mean? Like, I don't really like clams or oysters oh. or, yeah. Uh, like chicken skeet, I think. But I like it. I kind of eat it often. I had Korean chicken fit. What's the flavor like on that? Flavor is really spicy. Is that the gochujang? Just, it's like dipped in gochujang? Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> White chicken feet, it's pretty good, yeah. Oh, the white chicken <laughs> yes. feet. Like not everybody knows about yeah. that. That's definitely an old school traditional yeah. dish. You know what, you get traditional Asian points for that. <laughs> Raw squid with wasabi. How was that? The squid was lit. I like the squid. <laughs> Lamb tongue, cow's brain, liver, gizzards. Yeah, I've eaten all of that. We had, what's it called? That roach fried rice. At um, Kanga. You guys had roach fried rice? How yeah, was that? Roach fried, fried rice. It tasted like <laughs> That had to be it. Maybe stinky tofu in Hong Kong. Right? What'd you think of stinky tofu? That was delicious. Try it if you're in Hong Kong. I've had some Filipino food, balut. How was balut? It was good actually. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had it before. It tastes like chicken. Yeah, it does. And boiled egg. You eat it all the time? I don't. I've had it once. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the way you said it, you were like, I'm a balut master. Like, yeah. Alligator, yeah. Alligator. Back in China, I had it. It was mad chewy. Better than chicken. You're a beast. A live octopus. Yeah, it still moves after you cut it. They cling onto your tonsils because they want to survive. So, like. <laughs> so, what happens if it clings onto your tonsils? You kind of like suffocate. So, it's extremely dangerous. Yeah. I was in the Philippines. Uh, we were in the jungle for a few days and we ate tadpoles. <laughs> Yo, how was it? It doesn't taste anything, and the guy with us had a little salt, so we'll add a little flavor to it. <laughs> Shut the game down with that one. I don't know, I'm basic. I just do the dumplings, whatever is like basic. I haven't really tried anything crazy. Like, would you be open to you? Be like, yo, if yeah, someone had I mean, it. Yeah, if it looks good, yeah. Yeah, if it looks good. Yeah. Like, what do you think of weird Asian foods? Because, like, there's probably some you haven't tried yet. Would you be open to trying them? I'd be down. Oh, yeah, I'd be down. Like, what is it, some of the weirdest stuff you've seen other cats eat? Like, you'd be like, oh man, what's that? Honestly, I don't know, but if you put something in front of me and it's just like, try it, I'll try it. Is it important to eat like weird traditional foods from your culture to gain points in your culture and to prove that you're like from that? It's important to like, you know, have the kid eat that food until like a certain age rank. But like, it's good to like in, indulge in different cultures. The food is one of the most important things of cultures, you know? You, it's like language. It's like really a language in food. It's, it's really good to like, you know, stick with their culture. And it's also good to like, you know, expand it. I don't think so. You Nobody need to be like more Asian to maintain something, you know. It really depends on what you like. I think if you say it in a way that disrespects other people, like for example, if your parents eat it and you're like, nah, ma, that's gross, then I think you lose some points for that. But in other terms, if that's not what you really like, then don't eat it. No one's gonna force you. You're not gonna lose any Asian cred or whatever. I mean, not really. <laughs> so you don't judge anybody? No. But what do you think about the older generation being like, oh, you don't eat that? Like, that's bad. Oh, um, yeah. I think definitely. I've tried snake before, eel, frogs, um, 
I mean, frogs are pretty good. Have you tried them? I've, I've had frogs before. I haven't had snakes. Oh, yeah. Man, you, you're pretty traditional. <laughs> yeah. Let's say, for example, you're black or you're African American. What's the one food where your grandma would be mad if you don't eat it? Cow foot soup. Cow foot soup. Do you eat it? Nah, 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 I don't rock with it. It's like a real grandma thing that she would always chef up every Sunday, but it's fire, but I just don't rock with the cow foot. It's a texture thing. I think it's definitely important. That's the traditional foods that, you know, my family's grown up on, my ancestors, so why not know the true culture where, you know, what I used to eat, what my family eats. Is there one where you're like the more Americanized Puerto Ricans now, nah, we don't eat that, but like only if you keep it real? Oh, um, chicken feet. That's really weird. Okay. We so, the, so the older people eat that? Yeah, I mean, I eat it too, but yeah. If you meet a younger, a more Americanized Puerto Rican and they don't eat it, do you judge them or you're like, nah, it's cool? That's no, it's cool because it's not for everybody. I mean, would you eat a chicken foot? The Chinese eat a lot of chicken feet. I'm Chinese. Oh, yeah. I, I, I eat mad we chicken feet. We got something in common yeah. here. Because the younger generation is not eating as much traditional food, do you think it's going to go away in like 30 or 40 years in America? What do you think is going to happen? For me, Puerto Ricans, they always represent all the time. So I feel like we're never going to lose our style, depending on how, you were, how you're raised. Because you can be raised a certain way. You still have the culture in you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Ditto. ditto. She ditto. <laughs> like the Pokemon, ditto. <laughs> wait, wait, which one is that? I'm out of the Pokemon game, I forgot. Families kind of like mom tr kind of try to make like traditional food often and the kids kind of grow up eating their mom's food and that's what it's make like traditional food like important. It's really important to just eat family food, which is just traditional food. Whatever your parents probably, what you were raised on, I think you should indulge in that the most. Because that's what makes you. you you're, you're taught from your parents. I think it might go away just because everyone's really into what's popular right now, especially with social media. Um, if you want to save it, one thing I've learned is that teach your kids to eat it from the beginning. Like as a kid, because if you don't eat this now, like you have nothing to eat, they're going to eat it, they're going to like it. Tell them to at least try it because you don't know it. Don't bite it till you try it. For yourself personally, do you like more traditional food or fusion food? I like the traditional Asian foods more. Oh! One point for traditional. Traditional. And more fusion. Fusion. Spices. I like the spices. All, all different cultural herbs mixing. Makes like a bomb and ass rare dish. Okay. Korean Mexican burritos. It's like Mexicans working in the Korean stand with the other Koreans and they speak like Spanish and Mexican. Like, yeah. you know, like they, they intertwine. Like, certain fusions are, are cool. I think there might be like an explosion of fusions and then people are going to just get tired of that because that's usually how uh, food goes, like in a cycle. I will say it depends on my uh, mood during the day. <laughs> when would you go get traditional food? Uh, with families. When would you go get fusion food? When I'm on a date. <laughs>All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Bros on the Street, Asian Food Edition. Woo! So what we learned today is, one, a lot of people had tried a lot of different food out there, but they mostly had the most popular five Asian foods. And number two, we learned that people on St. Mark's have had some really weird food, a lot weirder than I had originally even anticipated. Definitely, people shocked me here. Shout out to Anthony Bourdain and Andrew Zimmerman and uh, Louis Eats on YouTube, because definitely some people came up with some responses that I was not expecting. Andrew, people go hard. And number three, when it came down to what people prefer to eat, whether it's the fusion or the traditional types of food, a lot of people had mixed responses. There was definitely some people who stood by eating the traditional weird foods, but a lot of people also said, yeah, it's all good if you think it's gross. I do think it was really interesting to see people's perspective on food, which you can apply to their perspective on culture in general. Now, what's the right answer? What's the wrong answer? You know what? We don't really know if there is a right answer. So make sure you let us know in the comments section below what's your favorite type of Asian cuisine, what's your favorite Asian dish, what's the weirdest Asian food you've ever eaten, and if you prefer fusion or traditional. All good questions to ask because you know what? At the end of the day, everybody's got to eat. Until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace. You guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Bros on the Street. We're here with our intern, Ryan. Ryan, you are third generation. Asian American, do you like the more fusion or traditional foods? Uh, I'm fine more with the traditional foods, honestly. Like, oh, my okay. mom, my mom cooks traditional Korean food, so you know, just stick with my roots. Okay. So you are gonna keep this tradition going. Are you? Do you think you're gonna feed your kids traditional Asian food, Chinese and Korean? If I learn how to cook, maybe. Or maybe if you get with a girl who knows how to cook. That too. Maria Fabron. Who knows? Ah! <laughs>